In today's video, I'm going to show you how to create different wire types uh, so that I can create different wires in an AutoCAD electrical drawing. So the first thing I want to take a look at is what wire types I've got in this drawing. So if I go through to my edit create or edit wire type, select it, you'll notice that, that there's just one wires. Now, if I go and I start creating a wire, you'll notice there that it's white. Um, actually, it's black, but you know, it'll show up white on a black background and black on a white background. Now, I want to go and start creating a whole bunch of different wire types, and then you can save this as a template so that you don't have to recreate these every single time. Now, the way that wires work in AutoCAD Electrical is it basically creates the layer. So, you know, that layer that you create over here, that would be the definition of the wire that you're creating or drawing up. So the first thing we do, let's go through to create or edit wire type. And what we need to take a look at is at the top of here, I've only got wires. Um, but what I can also do is I can also import wires from another drawing. Then we need to take a look at what the wire name is. And at the moment, the layer name is going to be percentage C, which is your wire color column, and percentage S, which will be your wire size then you are able then to report, are you going to wire this number or not? So you can have it either be, be able to create a wire number or add a wire number to it or not. And then you've got a whole bunch of uh, sort of user-defined columns. And you, these user-defined columns, you are able then to able to use in the wire name, okay, the layer name over here, and that'll be up from one to five, and then six upwards to I think 20, um, then you, know, you can use that in other reporting, etc. So what I'm going to do over here now is I'm just going to go and say maybe create a, let's go percentage one. Okay, so percentage one would be my user one over there. Now let's go and create a new um, wire. So wire color, let's make this black. The size can maybe 2.5 um, millimeters. Okay, let's do this, millimeters there. Okay. And you'll notice there how it's building up the wire name. And then user, maybe let's make this like Ethernet or something like that. Okay, once that's done, then I can create my next one. So make that red. Let's make this uh, 5.0 millimeters. Um, and let's make this fiber. Okay, so once that's done, you'll see there it now creates the name for me. Okay, and what I need to do now is this and that's all well, the colors. We need to change that from black to red or you know, even change it to green to red or whatever. So black, so we go color, there is on white, so it's gonna show black, okay? And then the line type, you can see there I've got continuous and phantom. I can still go and load up a different line type and make it, you know, center for instance, okay? But we're just gonna have it as continuous. And then we can also put a line weight on it. So I can say that this must be 0 0.8 millimeters. Once that's done, I can say, right, go on to the next one. So it's red, so color, we want it to be red. The line type, keep as continuous. And then we've got, let me make this a nice big thick one. Okay, so once that's been selected, so say for instance, I want to make sure that my red wire is my default. So at the moment, wires is my default. So I'm gonna say mark selected as default and it changes to red five and fiber. Once that's done, click on OK, and let's go create some wires over here. So um, let's go to our multiple bus. Okay, empty space going horizontal, and we're able then to go create it. And there you can see there it is red. Now, we don't really see the line weights over here. So let's go take a look at if we go put line weights on, which is over there. And there you can see it now takes the line weight of that layer functionality that I had over there. Okay, let's go take a look at multiple bus. Okay, now before I do that though, I'm going to um, just go back over here, maybe make it black, mark as selected as default, and then we are going to go and create another one over there. Okay, so there we go. You can also see that's a little bit thinner than that over there. And once you've done that, as, as in everything, you can just go create your wire numbers on this as well. So there we go. So I've been able to create my um, my wires over here. You can see there's different colors um, as well as the different thicknesses. 
um, and you've got very quickly you're able to see then the properties of what those wires are over there. Thank you very much for watching.